What's going on everybody, C4 here, welcome back to the channel today here for episode 22 of Madden 22 Pink Slips and we're coming off two back-to-back -back wins. We did suffer our first loss of the season in the last episode, but we finished strong just dumping on the Jets. They aren't particularly good, they're kind of a one-man show with Aaron Rodgers, but we beat the Kansas City Chiefs who were in the AFC Championship game against us last year. We beat them there. This was the revenge game as you can see from their overalls, 85s across the board very strong arms they fought a three and three so a little bit of a slump there but we did get the victory and i looked through the comments we had a i believe it was a plus eight upgrade and assistant coach kelvin said we got to upgrade our left tackle spot send them to evan jenkins get colton miller back in return colton miller all i remember is anytime we played the kansas City chiefs this is like going back to like when we had chase young colton miller Pitch and shutouts, left, right, and center. So let's add that player in and get into today's episode. Tevin Jenkins has been serviceable, but this is, you know, kind of upgrades you got to make. Take your team to the next level. We need better protection for Mac Jones when we go up against the elite edge rushers in the NFL, and Colton Miller is going to hopefully achieve that. Didn't even have the webcam. Oh, geez, one of those nights, man. Got a four-year-old, my son. And today's the first night, coming into the night. This is now the morning after threw up he's like you got a stomach bug first time ever of course me and the old lady not great around puking that's a big reason why i don't drink anymore or drink a lot less i said that as i had like five beers of the sock but you know what i'm saying you know we, we i i moderation i'm an adult now just because I, oh, I hate it. long night gross night so i'm kind of happy you know we're working our way through it there might be some hiccups i'm actually kind of glad that today's episode is the bye week episode so we have two games we have three and three baltimore I think we'll play the moments in this game, and because there's only two, we're going to have no straight sim, so we'll play the moments here against Baltimore, have the Week 8 bye, and then get into that Week 9 game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we're going to try to absolutely rock their world, baby. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's just, a, that's just a little interjection there. I mean, for all the people there, potential parents or our parents, is that your fear? Like, that was one of our biggest fears. Like, man, he's going to get sick one of these days. We're so good four years in, and it's going to be a nightmare, and it was last night, and that's... Uh, Let's focus. Let's refocus. What do we have for Baltimore? We have a breakout player. And of course, because Madden's so optimized, I can clearly tell what player it is. It's just word bubbles. And it is Tommy Tremble from tight end. Three touchdowns or 150 yards. He's looking to go from a star to a superstar. He's actually been impressive. I, you could almost make an argument so far, at least in the last two episodes. He's been our like second best option. I mean, it's still Quez. You've had John Ross a little spotty here or there, but when John Ross has a big game, it's a great game. But I think from a consistency standpoint, Tommy Tremble's been our second most consistent receiving threat. So, man, you know, deserve it of a potential dev trade here. Looks like get your work cut out for us. Got the Baltimore Ravens here, 87 overall offense, 83 overall squad. I mean, maybe I'm making the wrong call here because I could probably force free Tremble. So we had the... The Ravens... Now, I, I, I just want to look at this from a straight upgrade standpoint. Like, who has the best upgradable players like I, I ridley stanley watt they're still really out of our price range unless we get like a plus 20 or something like that so realistic upgrades here i would actually would love lane johnson on the squad somehow some way um that's just a personal upgrade that i would like uh davis at linebacker would be pretty cool like a jalen phillips uh, it's not really a great like what does tampa have i think we got to be completely open-minded here about the upgrades tampa in terms of upgrades, you know, we can't get Derwin James out of our price range, so we got to go down to the next tier. Maybe something like, uh, like Unwenu on the guard, continue to develop the offensive line. They got Clay, ooh, I would love Claypool. Would absolutely love Chase Claypool. Get some Canadians on the slave. Laurent Duvard de Tardif. Get another Canadian. That Creed Humphrey on the O-line. I mean, neither one of these teams have, like, that money guy that's like, all right, very attainable. But I think at this point, push comes to shove. I, 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 do think, I do think Tampa has a little bit more going for it. Even though the tiebreaker could be, we know that if we hop in and play on the sticks against Baltimore, might have a higher chance of Tremble getting that dev trade. But we'd still play the moments. And when we do hop in and play the moments, just force feed Tremble potentially if the game calls for it. So without further ado, let's get in here against Baltimore and see if we can move to 6-1. and one. Let's go, baby. You already know. If I'm getting on the sticks here, it's going to be S tier gameplay. I do not only have like two hours of sleep. Hey, that's what I need, just to be like severely overtired, and that's gonna bring the best out of C4 playing Madden. That's just 
you know, I, the game slows down for me or something like that. So we finally get to the red zone and we get our first touchdown of the game. Do you want to play a little defense? What are these squares all over the field? I don't really want to play defense, but be honest with you. I'd like to see us stop the Patreon quarterback guy that's controlling the Ravens right now. Third and nine. Now we'll come on in. We got Tremble A. We want to force feed him. I don't want to force feed him to the detriment of our squad, but if we can... Get him some touches, manufacture him some touches. When we can, I'm going to try to. And as I can see, only 62 yards in the first half for Mac Jones. Probably not looking great for Tremble to be at, you know, the, the 150 that he's going to need to go up superstar. But three touchdowns, that's a, that's a lot more likely that once we get into the red zone, just let's just let's just try to get him those three tutties. What do we got here, man? That's, that's not bad. Got him. There we go. Let's get another playmaker on our offense here, fellas. Let's go. Defense gets the the long drop. Okay, another red zone opportunity. This would be sick. Okay, burn the timeout. I saw that. I caught it. See, the, the tiredness. I would have just ran that play. It would have chewed the clock, and I would have hated this game. We saw it. We burned the last timeout. It is time to get Tremble. His second touchdown. Maybe even third. We have that one, one, that one earlier, Tutty. There we go. There's two of three for Tremble to get his superstar dev. And that's exactly what our offense needs. Another superstar dev. Guy that made it. I mean, we didn't start with him by any means. But, you know, he's been here He's been here for a minute. He's, he's been unpoachable because he hasn't really been that. He's been okay, not great. Had some upside. But I want to see what we're getting ourselves into before we... Uh, oh, wow. No. Buster McNuggets! No! I mean, those, those yards still count, and they didn't do anything with it. Boy, boy, B, Tremble, man, he's going to be... He could be a big guy when we do the Panther series. He's going to be a, most likely our starting tight end. Oh, he got covered up here. Oh, a little bit worried. Don't want TJ Watt tackling you. Don't want another fumble. Let's see here. This is a great opportunity to get our... Oh, right there. Tremble, if he can get a little bit of separation there. Right on the air. On the express. Got him. Inside. And turn around! What do we here? Here's another one. Designed for him. Third and seven. Need the score. If it's not there, it's not there. It's not really there. Nope. Take the, just take, take the field goal. It's all about stacking wins. If we can get the dev trade, that'll be nice. But if we can't, we just get, make the win. A win's almost more important than the dev trade here. At this point in time, in this franchise mode, you just can't be taking steps backwards. We want to win the Super Bowl. So let's see what we can do. We're going to have Tremble run a slant. It looks like they got TJ Watt in coverage on him. So he should be able to pull away, which he does. Go, 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 go. There's touchdown three. We got ourselves a new superstar, and it's Tommy Tremble. Great name. First team all name. They want to kick the big field goal. I feel like at this point, let's see if we can run the score up here. They have six turnovers. The Baltimore Ravens. I would. I hope a lot of those aren't just turnover on downs, and we're going to get some nice pink slip scoring. Ah, I'm going to get it. Oh. Usually, Quez brings that down. Well, we got the dev trade. It's a nice victory. Calculate the stars. Be right back. <laughs> so, calculating the star ratings for this game. We won the game, which is a star in the turnover department. One big. That is worth a half a star for our player stats. As you can see, he did throw four picks. That's good for us. But Mac Jones had three passing touchdowns. That's worth a half star. Najee Harris had over 100 rushing yards. That, too, is worth a half star. We force-fed Tremble like we said we would. He had 10 catches, 133 yards, three receiving touchdowns. So he gets one full star for the massive day he had, as well as a dev trade upgrade incoming. Three TFLs for OA is a half star. And then on the interception front, those four picks, Trey White, the Maniac, Burgess, and Newsom. Four interceptions gives us two stars. Ultimately, it's a six-star performance. We have it because it was simmed. So a three-star performance, a six upgrade incoming from the baltimore ravens before we do anything though before we do any new players we need to appreciate and understand just what we did here today for our own player tommy tremble dev trade upgrade superstar dev plus two you're gonna get more xp i think 
think when you make the superstar it should be like 20,000 xp not 2,000 xp but let's see what he got what he has for his abilities i don't know if he's even like rated high enough to get any superstar i think he need to be 80 isn't that the first threshold maybe it's 75 what do we got here for old tommy tremble no he does get one he got tank ball carries the ability will break almost any hit stick tackles made on him our other options that we have we got uh fatigue near yeah, stumbling near yeah. catch more consistently from the line of streams actually could be pretty good outside eh, no no it's not it's all we want uh impact well no less no Frequently gain yards while being tackled. Reed Ford could be pretty good. He's a guy, you know, he's a chain mover. Uh, you know, I'm going to put that one. I'm going to put a reach for it. I don't know if that's a great ability. There's always people that know more about this than I do. And then we're not going to lock anything else till 85 overall, which is going to take some time. But now they got the superstar dev trade. Got to help him out a little bit. And with that, you know, we might have just, like, tight ends always a bit in position. That's like, all right, just a matter of time we'll get that big upgrade. But now with Tremble being that superstar, as long as you don't lose the game against Poach, we might have our tight end for this franchise. So I had to make the decision for the upgrades today, and here is my my upgrades. So the first one is easier to explain. Got Tutu Adwell, plus six, to bring back Devin Duvernay. Devin Duvernay, 76, with a star dev, was actually on our team once upon a time, using all that plus six. There was upgrades that I wanted to, there was like two upgrades that were plus sevens like we just couldn't afford it like i want to jump in davis uh or dj reader at d tackle and we're like one or two off so i can use the full plus six here to improve the bottom end of our wide receivers injuries are turned on and here's my logic here linemen don't go up dev trade so cold miller is going to be capped at a start he's never going to have any abilities and while he's 27 it has some upside and you would say probably 88 you know 87 88 is probably where he'll develop into maybe 89 I think the fact that we're we're expected to win the Super Bowl, compete for Super Bowl this year and next season, that's our big window. And I'm, I'd rather take the, the same rating for this season and maybe a little bit of regression potentially next year, like Lane Johnson might knock down to an 83 or 84, something like that next year. But he has the superstar abilities. He has the abilities on our offensive line. And I, and I feel like that is worth the upgrade. Like this is probably the only position I would think Maybe in pink slips that you would want potentially an older player with a dev trade than going with the younger guy with upside just because there's no way to gain dev trades for your offensive lineman. So, I know that's fucking, it's Lane Johnson. Obvious move. So, I think that makes sense. It's not like I'm trying to get, a, you know, a skill position player that has a lot more opportunities to gain dev trades. So, like, it, it's lineman, you're dealing in <laughs> for sure. There's no, there's for sure no chance Colton Miller's ever going to have any ability. So, I'd rather take Lane Johnson for the short term there. And use our plus six on Devin Duvernay. Welcome to Pink Slips. So we had the bye week. I don't know. What, I mean, I guess we could kind of get a quick look at where we're at uh, for our stats. Mac Jones, right? The first in passing yards, third in touchdowns, 2,000 passing yards, 18 touchdowns to eight picks. Wish those picks were a little lower, but Pink Slips comes with the territory. We have over 100 yards per game average for Najee Harris, seven and seven for him so far. Also, man, shout out Mac Jones moving it. White Vic here, 100 yards rushing for him. On the receiving standpoint, John Ross actually leads our team. Did not expect that. Almost 600 yards, four touchdowns for John Ross. Five and four for Quez, four and five for Tremble. Uh, again, man, just Jamar Chase, you know. I miss Devontae Smith. Someone said it in the comments. I, I replied to it in the last video, man. Just There's just something. Devontae Smith, our wide receiver room hasn't really been the same. So, I don't know. Maybe there's... We get him back. It's, I don't know, man. Devontae, we need him back. Miss him. Uh, Darius Leonard, the maniac, leads our team with 54 tackles right now. We got uh, seven sacks, 10 TFLs from OA, six and four for Quiddy Pay. Montez went a little bit quiet. I mean, he got a dev trade last year. He had so many sacks. Only three and a half right now. It's just, you know, we're, we're work in progress. Four picks for Newsom, three for Trey White. I think Trey White's had two of those three with us. So that's pretty good. But, I mean, Newsom's been sensational. Probably... If we're making a short list of like the best players we've had in pink slips so far at Madden 22. I think he makes the top 10 easy. Might even be borderline top five. Kicking, 77% here for goggles. Wish that was a little bit better. And not a whole lot of gongs. To be honest with you, three gongs at a 17 pound. Luckily, we're not punting it enough, which is a good thing. That's always a great issue to potentially have. It's just like, ah, man, we, we're not getting gongs. Well, we're just not punting. We punt on average like once a game, which is pretty good. But now it is a big time battle here. Coming out of the buy, 6-1 Express, 6-1 Buccaneers. We have a breakout scenario yet again. Sammy Rios, he wants to talk about Owe. 
I think if there's a next guy up to get off a depth trade, it is going to be Odafe Owe. Hold the Bucks less than 200 yards, unlikely. But get Owe two plus interceptions, not going to happen. Force rumbles, not going to happen. But we can definitely get him two TFLs and or two sacks. I wonder if that would be like, can I get one TFL, one sack? Would that count? Either way, we're going to be using Owe this entire game. And we're going to try to get him up to a superstar depth. He's been amazing for us. So without further ado, let's get in this game here against the Bucks and see who the best 6-1 team is in the NFL. All right, so what I did, first play of the game, as you can see, he's 75. I moved Lane Johnson left tackle. I, I don't really, like, I, that's something I couldn't honestly answer in Madden. If there's really a difference of left or right tackle in this game, I think it's it's kind of like today's NFL where, like, I mean, historically, you always, like, you value left tackle more, blind side, everything like that. But in today's NFL, I mean, there's good defensive ends on either side. And uh, I don't know. It's just. And there's our leading receiver, John Ross. Doing the damn thing. And so far, Lane Johnson holding up great in the new threads of the San Antonio Express. What's up, man? You out? I'm not going to throw anything. My cat's out. He thinks I'm going to throw shit. I'm too calm. I'm too, I, I'm too sleepy McNappy. I'm still trying to get up for that. I got an energy drink here. So I'm going to bring the pain. It's not going to be Debbie Downer video. c 4s not bringing it. Something comes. I'm going to bring it. But I am still very tired. So I don't think you, I'm going to be chucking things. I'm not going to get that angry. But also, I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't put it past Madden 22 to find a way to take me from this current state and make me very angry. And did John Ross catch that? He did. John Ross is in stock. Did he get a little bit of that Quez Watkins magic of like, hey, bro, your rating doesn't matter. You're going to be infinitely better than what your rating says. He can't miss. And then we have our running back that averages over 100. Oh, my God. DeMonte KZ. That is probably our best truck so far in the series. Got to need a replay. Got to need to see that 4K. Can I see it, please? Can I see the murder? James Winston back in Tampa. That's something what, that we didn't really highlight you know I didn't I didn't pull up Patriots first oh my God. hey do you guys know that the Bucks are playing the Patriots this week and this is Tom Brady's first game back in Foxborough did you guys know that like, I think it needs to be highlighted more Are you fucking kidding me? This game's trying. What? I don't think I've had an offensive lineman get hurt this entire series. Do we keep the receipt? Do I got, do I got the receipt like somewhere over here in the papers to get get Cole Miller? What the fuck, man? There we go. Tommy Tremble, superstar tight end, making a play. Are you kidding me? Torn Labrum. That's. That's like, he's probably gone. We just essentially lost, in a way. We just lost last week now. Because we lost Colt Miller. We lost, oh my god. First 10, let's get Quetz here, man. As much as I like the resurgence of John Ross. This is the Quez. It's Quez. It's, you know, that's the past. Quez Watkins is the future. And we should not necessarily be force-feeding anybody. If you get open, you get the ball. But, you know. Oh, that's. Uh, I didn't hate that. It was, I don't know what that was. If that was not that was just. If that was late. Definitely wasn't a don't have enough throw power. I think that was just a slightly late. You threw it to Derwin James. Because Quez beat his guy out the line. You just had to fit it in. A little space. Look at that, man. I would have took that shot again. I take that shot every day of the week. Oh, come on, away. Fuck. God damn. Second and goal. Come on, Najee. Punch it in, buddy. Punch it in, buddy. You're unstoppable. 
not, we would have had to call a Tebow for the third down. But he gets in. But the Bucks are good. I'm seeing why they're six and one. This is, I, you know, a lot of our games has have been kind of easy on the sticks, and I, I think Tampa's going to hang around this one, even though they got James Winston at QB. They're still pretty good. Oh, Lane Johnson got hurt, and then my webcam froze for the first time since I've had this fantastic brand new Elgato webcam. And I thought it was kind of funny because the, the face was kind of funny, but we kept in there. Whatever, I fixed it. What was like? What's going on here? Like it's just random. The randomness. I just do that for the rest of this video. The whole video, just the whole time. All right, we need Oway to get going here, man. Two TFLs, absolutely on the cards. We've got close. It's not the first time Trey White's kind of had something weird like that. Fuck me, that was. Ah, I got greedy, man. Always just put drop back and coverage. Trying to get the TFLs. Man, it's one of the best plays we got. The QB draw with Mac Jones. I was just about to say the QB draw with Mac Jones and our playbooks kind of like the QB sneak with Tom Brady. Always a first down. KZ just outruns 98 speed right there. No chance. No ground was gained from Quez Watkins either. Suspect? I think so. What's KZ speed? If he has something like 93, somewhere in that territory, I'll be like, all right, man. He's he's quick. He's fast. Had the had the step. If he has like in the 80s, there's there's some shenanigans going. Because Quez didn't even gain any. 80 Quez Watkins could like he blew away Casey blew no abilities and 86 speed could not be caught from behind by 98 speed Quez Watkins fucking scripting bullshit man all right we got second and goal I think it's looking good for Tremble could be a Quez Tutty here definitely gonna be a Quez Tutty let's go we tied up Chew into the momentum meter. Got 28 seconds here. Hopefully, I'll have a nice OA TFL or sack to show you guys before halftime. No way. No fucking way. Unreal. They, they, over it. I'm over it. Everything's going their way. Like, what the fuck was that? Oh, there we go. That might. Oh, it's Arden Key. Of course, Arden Key's the guy who gets the TFL. Another chance, Ben. They're probably, in, for whatever reason, in four down territory. They must have their eye on Jamar Chase. I hope there's a scenario that we could still get Claypool. Like, that would be the swap. I get Claypool, they get Jamar Chase. Speaking of, Jamar Chase does get a big play. It's probably his biggest play for us all year. We got to go no huddle. Got to get a quick score here. And hope to God our defense can figure it out. Oh, look at that. Diving, diving fucking twisting Spinneroonie interception. That's where I'm out of this. Man, I'm over it. Whatever. Congrats on the win. Hopefully you can have Jamar Chase. Fucking diving. Figure skate. Double spin. Beautiful. I'm just going to play offense. It's unbearable on defense. So we'll just play some offense here today. And I'm sure that, you know, if I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose just playing offense either way. I just don't like... I'm bored. I'm, I don't want to play this game playing defense right now in this matchup. So I'm sure we'll, like I said, we'll throw interceptions or something like that. That will even it out as opposed to me just sticking there on defense and letting them score touchdowns every play. But also, I'm going to have a chance to turn it around. But I don't think there's any value right now in me continuing to play defense because there's, I'm not, it's, you know, 
Outside of me just getting pissed off. I think there's like, there we go. Oh, look at that fucking, yeah, man. Beautiful, big time sack, Uche, fumble. Hell of a play, man. What a workhorse. How are these guys dominating like this? They want to play today. Jamar Chase going a fucking straight line, buddy. X, straight line, X, streak. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Let's go. Drop back. Not really much. Not really much of anything. We'll just throw it up there. John Ross. Couldn't bring it in. I don't want to say we're in four down territory. We're almost at the... We are, but we're not. I'm almost in like a preservation mode. Like if we punt it, can we play OK, okay defense so they don't get like a five star? I mean, back have the wheels for this? Absolutely not. He doesn't have the wheels. Some games he has the wheels, but not today. Not today. He's more fatigued. Jameis Winston, 16 to 20. Four touchdowns. I'm just, yeah, I'm simming this one out, man. I'm over it. Well, Making it a little competitive here. But, yeah, it was, it was in the cards. It is what it is. And I don't need to keep dwelling on it. Y'all saw it. Those certain things that happen in this game just don't happen. And when they do happen, they happen for a reason. And congrats on the Buccaneers. Getting a big-time victory here, 49-35. And uh, they deserved the win. They deserved it. Like the Madden Gods for balancing the world here, I guess. Look at the Bucks. They won the game, which is one star. They won the turnover battle, which is where they half star. Look at their player stats. Sub 80 overall, Jameis Winston against my all-star defense. Perfect QBR. 344 yards, six fucking touchdowns, no picks. One and a half stars. I was I was gonna be salty and not give him. You get three, you get a half star for three touchdowns. You got six. I was gonna say, fuck you, you're only getting one. You're not double dipping. But I would have double dipped if this was in our favor. So one and a half stars for Jameis Winston. Uh, George Kittle with 100 yards and three touchdowns. Gets one full star. And on the defensive side of the ball, they had a two interceptions. Derwin James and Darius Williams combined to get one full star each. It is exactly a five-star performance. Congrats to Tampa, the superior team on the day. Six touchdowns from 77, I think, overall, Jameis Winston. Yeah. Cool. Right on, man. Earned it. All right. We got to spin the wheel. The loser. The lo I did not think I'd see this motherfucker again. At any point in this series, but he's back. So the widgets, if you don't know what they are, we have white, which is draft pick. We give them our first round draft pick for their lowest round draft pick. We have on the yellow widget, dev decrease, one of our players, and we will... I don't really know how we'll determine that. It'd be as if we were Tampa. and We are competition for Tampa, very much so for the Super Bowl. If they could have... Any one player on our team go down a dev trade will act as such. That is a decrease. They have plus 20 overall. So right now they currently have a plus 10 upgrade that they get from us. That would be a 20 upgrade to just crush our team. And then we have the blue widget. Can't really read it. There. It's called the piss test. So we have the pink special that when we get a five star, it's plus three sprint speed, plus three acceleration, plus three throw power for a player. If we roll this, it's minus three throw power for our quarterback, Mac Jones. Minus three acceleration and sprint speed for one of our players. As well as for the next episode both those players will not be able to play. So it's like a three-game suspension. That would be uh, not great. So let's spin the wheel. We're going to mute that because it's god-awful, like one of the worst sounds of all time. Uh, I'm kind of hoping it's draft pick. I could, I could do without draft pick, and it is draft pick. It's annoying. It sucks. But there's a chance that if we win the Super Bowl, that first-round pick, not really going to matter. So we got a little bit of a bailout there. I think that's two times as well that uh, we've had the loser wheel, and I think both times we've just lost a draft pick. <laughs> it's, why did I get this? It's like there was something. They're like, hey, did that script, was that scripting too hard? Like, what, what, whatever was going on in the hood, I feel like this got prompted because they wanted to see if they need to tune it. I'm going to say no. Fuck you, Madden. All right, quick housekeeping before we figure out who we're hopefully shipping off to our chase. Uh, OA did not hit on his dev trait. It is what it is. I want to see the severity of the Lane Johnson injury. It's probably for the rest of the season. It's only all oh, four weeks. That's not that bad. Just act like he actually popped the piss test. Got got back on that gear again. It didn't work out his way. So let's figure out with that plus ten who we are losing to the seven and one buck. I need to see before we do anything. Just what is Jameis doing? Like that, we got absolutely destroyed, manhandled, decimated by Jameis. What's his rating? 
77. He has a superstar, but 77, man. Grow up. Usually, I do like to let you guys kind of handle the trades, but I do feel like when it's a losing effort, and I, I got, I'll be completely transparent with you. The only other players that aren't going to be included in this trade would have been one was an offensive lineman plus seven that was sending them Chris Lindstrom, or they could have used all plus nine on Quiddy Pay to be a D tackle two. But I, I think what kind of works out for me is also kind of you know what they, you guys most likely would have voted. I just want to get it over with. So. We have Jamar Chase, 86 superstar, Patrick Sertain, 85 superstar, and what we are going to be sending to the Bucks, uh, you know, bubble wrap. Congratulations, six touchdowns. In return, we're getting a player that I probably would have liked to target. Uh, Canadian, big fan, Claypool. Like Chase, maybe, you know, he's going to be good for somebody. Maybe he'll be good for James Winston, and he just couldn't put it together in San Antonio. So we're going to get there. That's plus four of their plus 10 that they earned. And then in the secondary, we are going to be getting Darius Williams, we actually might even be more better suited for the slot spot than PS2, but that is a plus five. So that is how we're going to be spending nine. Like, really, it's like, all right, they either get Jamar Chase, PS2, two superstars, or I let you guys vote, and the only other option is Quiddy Pay, plus nine. Like, this makes the most sense, and ultimately, I'm happy with it. Uh, Sertain sucks losing him for sure, but he's the least productive of our corners, and I just, you know, I'm, I'm ready for Jamar Chase to not be a member on our squad anymore. So that will do it for today's episode, fellas. Uh, not, uh, not how we want it to end it. But, you know, sometimes a loss. Like, what do we got for the answer media question? Is there something about this loss? What are you saying, Jonathan Coach? Are we in a good spot? Oh, yeah, we're absolutely going to be in a position to win the Super Bowl. Thank you very much. Help me out with my ticket sales. But that will do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I think we'll have a brand new reboot on the channel dropping tomorrow. So make sure you stay tuned to your sub box for that. If it's your first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Leave a comment in the comment section below just to say... You know, even if you want to start like a na 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 na, hey, 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 goodbye to Jamar Chase. Fucking don't let the door hit you on the way out. You sucked, buddy. See you guys back on the next one. Peace out.